What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I am picking up Sam from the airport right now, and it's very exciting. He should be at number three down here, and we're going to do some game hunting today. There he is. My windows are tinted, so I don't know if he knows it's me. What's up, man? Hey, big guy. How you doing? Good. You What's excited? That? Oh, yeah. Are oh, you filming? <laughs> Always. Always. Yeah, I'm very excited. This is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. I don't like how cold it is. It's not that cold. It's freezing. I got my shorts on, my t-shirt. It's like 90 <laughs> degrees where I just came from. You ready? Actually, that's not technically true because it wasn't 90 degrees in Vegas, <laughs> but it was uh, 90 degrees in Fort Myers. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. So, are you excited about going to the outlet for your first time? First time. First time ever. I don't really know what to expect, honestly. I mean, I've seen Coop's videos where he kind of shows it, but I can't sure, show too much, though. You know, I'm sure it's kind of like that, but a little crazier. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to see what it's about. I've never been. So we got a bunch of stuff here. We didn't film in there just because we weren't in there for too long, but we'll take a look real quick, show you guys what we got. Ugh. All right, Sam found the Luigi. We got a Jurassic Park 3 figure and a baby Godzilla. A little Skylander, and then Ratchet and Clank going commando, a couple Xbox 360 power cables, a pair of Sennheiser headphones, and also a pair of Bose headphones. Pokemon lanyard, Game Shark cable for the Game Boy, Wii steering wheel, and PS4 controller charger with the cable, which I think is just a PSP charger. Looks <laughs> like it. But we paid eight bucks even for everything. Oh, and a Logitech webcam. Pretty good haul. We were in there for like 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes 20 so we don't really have plans of exactly where we're going but we'll figure it out we'll we'll do some cool stuff oh yeah anything good mm. i've seen much lots of filler titles i don't want to be like the you know nothing at this goodwill unfortunately so we're gonna head to Sam's gonna look again. We're gonna head to the Southeast Portland outlet, see if we can find anything. We didn't look at the CDs, there might be Turbo Graphics or PS1 games. You never know. Hey, wedding crashes. It's Goodwill Outlet time. Ba 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 ba. Hello. Find anything cool? Found a couple things. Let me get that. <clears throat> Find a couple of these sealed. They're three bucks each. It's like eight after fees. Sam and I are excited to get to the, the game stores though. Yeah, that's a good point. There's this too, but it's not worth it. Ready? I'm ready. I know we haven't really filmed too much um, of our, our travels yet, but uh, we're at Burgerville right now to get some food, and then we're going to be heading to CD Game Exchange, then we're gonna drive over to Beaverton, and we're gonna go to Game Trader and Retro Game Trader. I know, two stores within four miles of each other that are called Game Trader and then Retro Game Trader. They're both different stores. But uh, we'll definitely do some more film in there. Um, we've just been hitting up Goodwill so far, and not really finding too much. A few things here and there for Amazon and like one game that Ratchet and Clank for the store, but um, nothing great. So we haven't really had too much of a desire to, to film a lot of it, but um, game stores, definitely. So we just left the C Game Exchange here, uh, the last one in Portland, and they're kind of cleaned out, so we didn't find too much, but got a red nunchuck for $6. Rocksmith 2014 edition for five bucks. It's about a $20 game. 
PTO2 for Super Nintendo for 10. It's also about an $18 game. And then a memory card plus for the Saturn for 10 bucks goes for about 18 to 20. So Sam didn't buy anything, but he did point this and this out to me. I probably would have overlooked them. So thank you to Sam for that. And also thank you to Sam for paying because they only took cash. We're going to Game Trader now, which is in this mall here. So there's Game Trader and then there's Retro Game Trader. And Retro Game Trader we've been to plenty of times, shown it on the on the vlogs multiple times, but it's the big one where everything is, although shelves are white and everything is like locked up, but they have everything in stock. So we're gonna go here first and then we'll go there because I think that's where we're, I mean, we usually don't buy too much from there because it's kind of expensive, but it's cool to look around. This place I've been to once with Abby and they didn't have too much, but prices are pretty good. So hopefully we'll find something cool. Yeah, this is where Abby and I went in last time. And I think you just go in and it's in the, the right hand corner. Are you excited? <laughs> I am excited. I'm excited to see what we can find. Not just today, but on all the stuff we have planned. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So oh, this is a different entrance than last time. There's that place too, if you want to go in there. there Bricks like and mini figs. I do like Legos. It's expensive though. Legos are really expensive. And they have this little play area. But yeah, so we're we're taking our taking a trip on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, going down to recycle video games and a couple other places. And we're hoping to find a ton of awesome stuff. It smells good in here. It does. It smells like Baskin Robbins or something. Something cinnamony for sure. Something cinnamony. No. Sminimini. No. Cinnamon E. Sminimini. <laughs> all right, we're almost there. It's down there on the left where all those people are. Do you want to play on the thing? I think there's a restaurant. I think I might break it. <laughs> For sure. All right. We're here. Game trader. Let's find some cool stuff. See anything cool? Yeah. So we didn't find anything at Game Trader, so now we're at Retro Game Trader, which is good because we're more into retro games anyway, right? Because that's how it works. Let's find some cool stuff. I'll find out for you. Yeah. Let's see if there's any Wii U games for you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, guys, we are at our last, well, maybe second to last stop if you want to go to Legendary, but Video Game Wizards in Portland. This is their new location. Never been here. Let's check it out. Woo! Hey, you excited? I am pumped! Woo! So, I bought one thing from Video Game Wizards here. Sam didn't find anything that he was dying to have. But picked up Turtles 3 Manhattan Project for NES. Uh, box and cartridge and it, it seems like it has the other inserts and also the baggie but no actual manual um, but Sam looked up on eBay I can get a manual for like 17 bucks or so I'm gonna try to find one at PRGE first if I can for a little bit less than eBay but I paid 60 bucks for this one if it's complete it goes for about a hundred and the manual is not worth 40 bucks so either way in the end it'll be a pretty good price yeah and the box is in really good condition Everything's in good shape. Yeah, it it's got a little crease, little the crease on the top right there. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty clean. So now I just need Turtles 2. Then I'll have all three for NES. Yeah. You want to go Legendary? Let's go. All right, one more, then we're going back to the store. Um. <laughs> you seeing some good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Selection here is awesome. <laughs> Is the bee's knees. It's amazing. <laughs> no, thank I mean, you, sir. No, I mean, all the viewers know. I mean, <laughs> they get the scoop. But <laughs> I hope they do. So we're closed and uh, Abby already went home, but Sam and I are gonna go home here in a bit. But I did wanna show you guys some of the trade-ins from today. I don't think this is everything, but this is a majority of it. Uh, so we have War Gods, Twisted Edge, and Gex. And then Sekiro, Shadows, Die Twice, Dragon Ball, Fighters. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, T2, Echo the Dolphin, Tasmania, Just Cause 3, Bully, and WWE 2K16. And then Sam traded in Mario Kart and Mario Kart. And we got the Metal Gear Solid Essential Collection. I'm probably going to be holding on to that one. Don't have it. And then this is the last trade-in we got. Um, so we have Mission Impossible, Top Gear Rally, Rainbow Six, Beetle Adventure Racing, Rally Challenge 2000. And then Mario Sunshine, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Resident Evil 4, Lego Star Wars, Crash Nitro Kart... Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2, Lego Star Wars 2, and NHL 2003. Oh yeah, and then also a red SP, which has some weird stickers on it. But uh, that last trade in there, um, the guy took store credit, and he bought Smash for N64 and Perfect Dark, and just paid the difference, which was like six bucks or something. So, time to go home. You ready to check out the game room? I am. I know you love it. Oh, yeah. Creepy little girl, isn't she? Yeah, her name's Zelda. <laughs> Belly rubs. <laughs> You're so cute. Ugh. So what do you think? Really impressive. Really neat. You like? Yeah, for sure. Look at that I wish poor that, uh, Skyward Sword. I wish that this this is the one that you got for me. Yeah. This was mint. What happened? It got crushed. <laughs> this was mint when you got it for me. I was on a bad time constraint, and I I had to ship everything out, and I couldn't. I didn't have time to like go get a separate box to ship that by itself. So it had to go in the same box as everything else, and it got crushed. Yeah, that's too Luckily, bad. it's not that rare. Like, I'll definitely be able to find another one. Yeah, but that was such nice condition before. Yeah. I have lots of big box Wii games. Look at all those. Yeah. I think the last thing... There's more over here. 
think the last thing to show me is the Super Nintendo game. Super Nintendo! That would be here. My favorite. Most of the, well not most of them, but a lot of these came from you. They did. At some point it was most of them, but I've added quite a few. Look at that Chrono Trigger with the plastic on it. Yeah, that didn't cover me. So beautiful. I think you got a Chrono Trigger for me, but I don't think mine, mine didn't have the plastic on it. Yeah. That one came for me, that one came for me. Look at that minty boy. <laughs> That's like one of the coolest things that's been traded in the store. The only damage on it is on the, yeah, the right neck. there. Yeah, this is neat. That was really, I like that one a lot. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, Ogre Battle. Did you ever get the Sky manual Blazer. for that? I think that one was missing I don't manual. think I've gotten the manual yet. I think that one was missing a manual. It's your favorite game. I love this game. I played this game a ton. Space Mega Force. Yeah, I played this game a ton when I had this. Uh, the other game I loved, uh, I think you mentioned it in the video you did, but wherever Pocky and Rocky 1 is, I don't know where you got it, but. It's in like, there somewhere. These are like my two most played Super oh, Nintendo right games. There it is. I hated the second one. This game, this one wasn't any fun. But I finally got the manual for it. I didn't, I guess personally, I didn't like that, but this one, this one was really good co op play. I played this in college a lot with roommates. These games are really fun. I like those two a lot. And then Mario RPG. You're just going to leave them out? I'll put them back. <laughs> Where's Mario RPG? Um, That's another classic. They're alphabetized like like by shelf, not by row. So it starts up here and then goes all the way across like that. Yeah. Mario RPG. Another... Um, Underrated game that I really liked. Do I even have Mario RPG? Should have. You got it from me. I don't think I do. Here's the Mario games. Well, it'd be in the only Super, have three. wouldn't it? Oh yeah, Super Mario. Oh, yeah. So right I tell you better. Right? Uh, this game uh, is amazing. I don't know if anyone's played this game. This game is a really fun platformer game um, with a lot of different levels, but it's uh, really hard. Um, but really fun. That's kind of a hidden gem. Here's that um, Captain Nobleland box that I sold the cartridge like a day before I got the box. This game is also really fun. I'm, sh I'm sure a lot of you have played it, but... Um, and some, this, I don't know, this probably is going to get a little bit of flack, but in some ways I thought it was kind of like Pokemon. I, I, I don't know, I really enjoyed this game. It's not like Pokemon... Completely, did you, did but there's definitely similarities. Game? Did you enjoy this game? <laughs> I never never tried that game out. I don't think I had that one. <laughs> it doesn't want to go back. Uh, did you enjoy this game? Mm, no. Well, how about this one? No, I don't think I played that one. Demon's Crest is fun. Um, anyone who hasn't played Demon's Crest should, and everyone can play Demon's Crest now because it is on the uh, Switch... Uh, the Switch just released uh, the first batch of games on the uh, Super Nintendo. I don't know what they're—they're they're not calling it a virtual console, but like when you sign up for the online, you get a bunch like a uh, get a bunch of Super Nintendo games, and that was one of the ones that you can get for free if you have the Switch online. So everyone should try it if you haven't played it because it's it's really fun. So before we go to bed, Sam wanted to show you guys his pickups from today. Yeah, first things I got today. I didn't get anything anywhere else, um, but I did get some stuff from Double Jump. I got cartridge. Best for, store ever! Yeah, I got the cartridge for uh, Excite Bike 64. Uh, completes that copy. Um, box and manual for Nightmare Creatures. Ooh. Still need the cartridge for that. And then Silent Hill 4 for PS2. Ooh. And Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes for GameCube, as well as the manual for. Uh, Gala Dark Legacy. Um, if you remember from when Cooper was in Florida back in February, he he picked up, he made a deal with Joel. With Joel, and uh, one of the games that I got was the Gala Dark Legacy, but it was missing the manual. I've actually been looking for the manual, and I just nonchalantly was looking through uh, just a stack of manuals, and the first one I flipped to was that. So it was just completely random. Perfect. But, but yeah, that's what I got. So, All really right. cool stuff. Thank you, Sam. 
So we're gonna get to bed, guys. We gotta get up early and, not super early, but we gotta get up and go back to the store because we're open tomorrow. And Abby said we had a couple YouTube subscribers that came into the store today. And uh, unfortunately, I was out with Sam, so I didn't get to see him, but Abby said that both of you guys were super nice and it was really cool to have you come in. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Zelda's hiding under the futon in here, so we gotta get her. Sam is allergic to cats. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We had a lot of fun hanging out and going around and doing some game hunting. If you like today's video, you're really gonna like uh, Tuesday and Thursday, or Tuesday and Wednesday, because we're going on a big trip. We're going to a bunch of game stores and we're gonna find some really, really cool stuff. I'm very excited. And are we gonna film with Jackie and John? Are they gonna start even, start doing some them. pickups? Oh I haven't even told them that we're going <laughs> there. We're going down to see our friends in, is it Grants Pass? Yeah. In Grants Pass, Oregon, uh, our friend John works at a store down there. So we're going to go and see them. We're gonna go to Recycle and hopefully a couple other places and we're gonna do some filming and hopefully get some really cool stuff. Not only for the collection, but I'm hoping to maybe find a few more higher end games for the store for the expo, which is this coming weekend. We are very excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.